Welcome to the first video for Math 370, Calculus on Manifolds. This video is going to be a short introduction to what the course is about. So the first word that um, is, might be unfamiliar in the title of the class is manifold. A manifold is a topological space So basically just a space with either a notion of distance or closeness or convergence, um, with, which locally looks like normal Euclidean space, Rn, but globally can be much more complicated, is potentially more complex. So. The simplest example that I can draw is S1. So S1 is all points x, y in the Euclidean plane, where x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. And I can just draw it it's right there. And why would I claim that this locally looks like R1, uh, but globally is more complicated? Well, if I zoom in on a small portion, I mean, this is basically just a line. Uh, that's too many primes, Look, like R1. But globally, this isn't a line, right? It's not a line. It closes back up on itself. There are a lot of things that are different um, between S1 and a line, and we'll sort of go into that throughout the class. And I can generalize this to spheres of all dimensions. So this would be all sets x1 through xn plus 1 in Rn plus 1 satisfying the equation x1 squared plus x2 squared, etc., plus xn plus 1 uh, squared is equal to 1. And I can draw, let's, let's draw the, um, the case where n is equal to 2, because that's probably the simplest. If I, so, so let's, um, using x, y, z coordinates, I'll draw the sphere here. And if I zoom in on a small patch of it, it's basically just, a, you know, a chunk of R2. And but globally, you know, this is obviously not a plane. There are different things about it. So that's, um, these are the most basic examples of manifolds. And we're going to come up, we're going to talk about more complicated examples in um, throughout the class. Another example would be the surface of a donut and or perhaps an inner tube. You could also add more holes if you want. So I could add three holes. I mean as many holes as I want. And these are also manifolds. So what do we mean by calculus on a manifold? Well, part of this will be sort of a a proof-based, souped-up version of what you're, you have seen in multivariable calculus. But we're going to need some different tools. So our goal is to differentiate and integrate functions on manifolds. Differentiating is, may, is more complex than um, than it is in one variable, but it's sort of a natural generalization of what you saw in multivariable calculus. Integration, however, requires us to uh, come up with a whole new set of machinery. So we're going to introduce the concept of differential forms, which you, um, which is a phrase you probably have seen uh, in the title of your textbook. And these are objects that um, we can integrate on these curved spaces. So there's some algebraic gadget, and they have their own method of being multiplied and differentiated, and we're going to go into all of that um, in order to learn how to integrate functions on a manifold. And the goal of the class is to prove a generalized Stokes theorem. So you might remember Stokes' theorem from multivariable calculus. It said, you know, if you had some, 
well, this is this um, cartoon might be a cartoon of the version called Green's theorem, but you had some integral over some region. You have to integrate a function over some region. And instead, you can just consider the integral over the boundary of the region. And that um, simplifies your integral, possibly. And it turns out that Stokes' theorem generalizes to many dimensions and many more types of domains than the types considered in multivariable calculus. So that's going to be our goal for the semester. Thanks for watching.